Hi, I'm Dr. Y. You're welcome to today's edition of Dr. Y series. Today I'll be talking about something important and that has to do with your eye. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. Everywhere in the world, this week, everybody's talking about the disease called glaucoma. Now, glaucoma, like we say, is an irreversible progressive optic neuropathy characterized by optic nerve head changes and visual field changes. Ah, that's a lot of English, but simply placed, glaucoma is a disease of the eye that causes damage to the nerve. Now, the nerve is responsible for vision. And once this nerve is damaged, the person cannot see anymore. So what happens in glaucoma? This nerve gets damaged. But can this be prevented? Yes, it can be prevented. First of all, I would like to tell you about what are the symptoms of um, glaucoma. Most times, glaucoma does not present with symptoms, but a few people may have symptoms, but most people actually that have glaucoma are asymptomatic. Sometimes they just come to the hospital and find it incidentally. And what are the symptoms? Now, a few people may find out that they change their glasses very frequently. And when I mean frequently, they change their glasses this week, uh, probably two weeks' time, they don't feel comfortable about the glasses. So they keep changing their glasses. What happens there is there is a gradual damage that is going on. And like I said earlier on, it is irreversible, meaning there is nothing one can do about it except the creator does something about it. Now, another thing you may actually find out about is, is some people will just look at light and tell you that they can see rainbows around light or colors around light. We call it halos. Now, once somebody is seeing halos, it's, a, it's an advanced uh, stage. It means the person is already losing almost uh, most of his sight. Other things people may come with is, some people may come with a pain in the eye. And when they come with pain like that, it simply means um, they are having probably acute um, angle closure glaucoma or chronic angle gla um, closure glaucoma, which I don't want to bore you about. It is not everybody that hits your car, that bashes your car, that is okay. There are some people that bash your car and they have a condition. It is only when they get to the hospital. So if somebody hits your car, you notice somebody brushes your side mirror or brushes the side of your car and you look at the person's car, you notice it has been happening a lot. You should know this person likely has glaucoma. And what do you need to do? Advise the person to come to the hospital. I believe the person should have an insurance for his car so that he can take care of your car anyway. But that's just beside it. So it's important if you notice somebody who probably bumps into probably chairs or bumps into or always kick people on the leg, it's most likely this person is already having what we call tunnel vision. And what's tunnel vision? It means the person can only see what is in front. The person has lost peripheral vision and cannot see what's going on on the side. Well, normally, if I'm looking straight like this, I should be able to have an idea of, okay, I can see this model of eye beside me, I can see some other things here. But in patients with glaucoma, they wouldn't see all those angles. The only thing they see is straight. And that straight simply means they can hit anything. So that's what we call tunnel vision. But it's not everybody that comes with the symptoms. Some other people will just come to the hospital and tell you they cannot see. Or probably they just woke up in the morning and found out that they could not see anymore. And some people will start telling you it's probably the witches from their village that actually did something to them. No, it's not every time witches do things like this. Sometimes things like this may actually be as a result of glaucoma. Now, what are the risk factors of glaucoma? Basically, people who have increased intraocular pressure at risk of having glaucoma. But how can you know you have increased ocular, uh, increased ocular pressure only when you come to the hospital? Other things is people who are age 40 and above at risk of having glaucoma. Also, people who have diseases like diabetes and hypertension are at risk of having glaucoma. People who have myopia, that's what we call short-sightedness, at risk of having glaucoma. If you have somebody in your family that suffered from blindness in the past, probably your father, your grandfather, your great-grandfather, your mother, your great-grandmother, or your great-grandfather, or they just told you there was somebody in your family that lost his sight. It is important you carry everybody in your household and tell your relatives to, to have their eyes checked, simply because they, may at, they are at risk of having glaucoma. It is important you come to the hospital to have your eye checked once in a while, because Glaucoma is a silent eye killer and it would not tell you whether it's coming. The only way you can know you have glaucoma is simply doing what we call a fundoscopy. Now, the doctor will look into your eye to see 
whether there are some changes on the optic nerve, which is the nerve responsible for vision, like I said earlier on. There is a machine in front of me here, which the doctor will put in front, you will sit in front of it and the doctor will look into the eye. Then there's also another thing we call the visual field uh, assessment. We are going to look at your visual field to see how wide you can see. So if we check these things, these three things, and we notice changes, we can come and say that the person has glaucoma or not. Glaucoma is not something you just make a diagnosis of just by just um, looking at your eye. Or Not every eye pain is glaucoma. Not every headache is glaucoma. Not every redness of the eye is glaucoma. Not any um, blindness is glaucoma. Some of these other some other diseases can cause all these symptoms, but to know whether you have glaucoma or not, you have to do all this test and when you come to the hospital. My name is Dr. Y and your health is my priority.